Hello, hello everybody, this is Chip Top Gaming here today with another Magic the Gathering video, and today I'm going to be breaking down a Theros Beyond Death spoiler. So, on Wizards of the Coast MTG website, obviously, they posted where you can find a bunch of spoilers, and today marks one of the first days of spoilers on at MTG Arena. I went over there to gladly find that it was already up. I have yet to look at this card, so you're going to see my first live reaction. Clothis, God of Destiny, is a 3 cost, legendary enchantment creature god, 4 5 indestructible, which at first sounds really insane, especially because Gruel Aggro is such a big thing. If you can get a 4 5 indestructible for 3, that's crazy. However, as a lot of you probably know, Theros gods are not creatures unless your uh unless your devotion to red and green is less than seven so basically devotion is how many times so devotion to red and green would be how many times your red and green symbols appear on a card um like the mana cost of a card so as long as there are seven and i don't know whether this is red you need seven red and seven green or if you need seven a mix of seven red or green or if you need seven red or seven green like because it, it could be it could be that you need to have more than seven red symbols and more than seven green symbols. You, it could be that you need to have a mix of seven red and green symbols, or it could be that you need seven red symbols or seven green symbols, but not a mix. Okay. But if you basically have that criteria, it becomes a creature. So you'll be able to attack with it. And however, the fact is when it's an enchantment, it still does stuff. For instance, at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, exile target card from a graveyard. If it was a land card, add red or green. Otherwise, you gain two life and it deals two damage to each opponent. This card is probably going to find its way into Gruel Aggro. Think about this. A turn three drop, drop that can just start exiling cards from people's graveyards. So if your opponent is running anything like Reanimator, any of that, that's dead. As well, it adds green and red mana, gains you life, deals damage to opponents, and when you get late enough into the game because you're playing a bunch of cheap creatures, meaning you have a lot of mana symbols, it becomes a 4-5 indestructible. I think this will definitely see some uh, play in standard in a Gruel aggro S deck, assuming that that deck stays within the meta. Now, why don't we read what it says? Clothis, God of Destiny. The God of Destiny, Clothis, does not appreciate those who would manipulate fate and her responsibility is swift and final. If a certain someone were to attempt to escape the underworld, Clothis would do everything in her power to stop them. So, she's obviously going to try and stop Elspeth. So, she's the villain of the story. I think that this card is very pushed. They said they're upping the power level standard, and I think that this is ridiculous. I think that uh, they need to not print this because it's going to be crazy. Um, this, unlike the other god, will be in the main set, uh, and yeah, I assume there's going to be a showcase style for this too. This, I think, will ruin standard. I think it's probably good that it's not a controlling meta, because honestly, I mean, aggro isn't the best. I think the best metas, if they're going to be dominated by something, whether it's control, rush, combo, or uh, mid-range, mid-range is the best. This promotes a rushy thing, which I don't think is what standard really needs right now, but I guess we'll see how this is going to go. Um, now, if we were to look, um, we can take a look at some of the comments, uh, which is like, what is this supposed to do? So a lot of these aren't going to, aren't like a lot of, Basically, the the biggest complaint I see from the comments is that this should be black-green. And I agree, that feels like a very Golgari ability of exiling cards from graveyard, you know, gaining life. I don't know if the dealing damage part, I guess black deals damaging. Yeah, I think this is a much better red-green or black-green card. And it would probably warp the meta less because black-green isn't as rushy. Um, but... I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a short one, but this is the only spoiler being released today. You can expect another spoiler tomorrow. That one may be later in the day. Um, I'm not sure. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.